Hello guys and gals, Walman Grider here. I'm narrating this video since I wasn't really satisfied with the original audio I made in this video. Anyway, what I was uh, trying to show off in this video here, after you hopefully watch the other two, I have a new helmet, an ILM by 26 x and I got these awesome heated gloves. These Miwama. Heat glove as you see me turning on there. Man, these, especially these gloves, they're so freaking awesome. Totally game changer, as you see. It's nice, cold, and snowy here now, so these things are fantastic. And I and I am really liking that ILM 726X helmet so far. Didn't work at all out better for me, and I feel a little safer with that on. And glad to have the uh, the face mask part of it, because as you see, it's pretty cold here. And as you see, my Billy Goat's doing pretty good in the ice and snow. Uh, and I attribute a lot of that, and it's another topic I want to discuss here, and like your guys' opinion on it, if you would. You know, what's better to your opinion, uh, one larger motor, like they're, like this one has, well, this is only a thousand watt motor, but the version two, of course, as you know, has a 2000 watt nominal 2600 watt peak motor. Is that better or is it better to have, uh, there's a few others now it started with like the Grizzly, but uh, there's quite a few other, you know, dual motor e-bikes out there i think most of those are 750 watt thousand watt peak motors um my opinion and i wish i had a dual motor one so i could test this and tell you 100 percent sure that i'm right here but but hopefully somebody out there watches my video that has one of those dual ones and can demonstrate this riding in the snow and ice and listen to which is better um my feeling is the single bigger motor is better because the bike is more nimble that way because i would be a little afraid of the front tire running both motors the front tire spinning too much in the ice and maybe also in a crash um that would be my concern. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I, I would sure love to know. And, and like I said, if anybody out there's got a dual motor one that can show us how well those work in the snow and ice, that would be fantastic because I don't have any of those, unfortunately. Uh, maybe uh, one day one of these uh, companies that make those would be gracious enough to give me one to show off for you guys. I would sure would love to review one and to see how it works in the snow and ice. But yeah, I, I ride this bike here to work every morning. And as you see, we're in winter time now. So those mornings are really rough. I tell you that it's cold. These gloves are a lifesaver. They work fantastic. But it's still get a little chilly. Make sure um, helmet visor want to fog up. Make sure glasses want to fog up. So in the morning time, I pretty much don't wear those because yeah, they just freeze up. And of course, when I get to work, I, I take my battery off my bike and bring it inside with me so it doesn't get too cold sitting out there. Because yeah, it's uh, been anywhere from the teens to the low 20s already in the mornings there a couple of weeks ago it was actually lower now it was down the single digits and i, I did not ride in that because yeah we had a lot of uh ice and snow if it gets too bad i i try not to i mean i don't have a death wish or anything but uh yeah i do enjoy riding and i, I try to ride as much as i can even in the winter but i'm still pretty new at this so so far, I've been enjoying it, even in the winter. 
Uh, yeah, that's the main topics I like to discuss. I like to know your guys' opinions. I even put a poll up in my uh, YouTube channel there. If um, people would please uh, state your opinions. And also put another poll up for people's opinion on the style of e-bike they prefer. I mean, I prefer the style, like the Billy Goat here, the moped style e-bikes. I mean, I have a folding one. I have this one. I definitely prefer this more. Just never been a real big fan of the mountain bike style ones, but I never really had one to test out either. That'd be another one I would uh, love for new companies out there to uh, give me one of those to try out. Maybe it'll change my opinion. But yeah, that's uh, the main topics I want to discuss today. And I hope you enjoy my videos. And I. Please hope you'll consider liking and subscribing. Thank you very much.